Locals and tourists alike seeking relief from these sky high temperatures, Coney Island Beach in Brooklyn. In fact, Corey McGinnis uh, has more. Well, without a doubt, people are finding relief, trying to do all they can to beat the heat. More relief here in the water as opposed to the boardwalk. I like the beach and I like the rides. As the city experiences its second heat wave of the year, eight year old Floris Murek is making the most of the scorching temperatures at Coney Island Beach in Brooklyn. I feel happy when it's hot. A heat advisory, which runs until Tuesday, I, warns I, of temperatures feeling like 95 to 104 degrees Fahrenheit across most of the city. I'm with my family and uh, enjoying the good weather. Despite the scorching conditions, Norwegian tourist Finn Glithfell and his family have found simple ways to stay cool. It's by uh, going to the water. <laughs> For example, and it's by eating ice cream. Other beachgoers had similar things to say. Sunscreen, water, more water. We were sweating on the boardwalk, but here we seem to be pretty dry. Oh my God, water. We had tons of water for, and especially for the kids. The splash pad offered a perfect compromise for the Sanchez family. It allows children to enjoy the cooling effects of water play without the intimidation of oceans, waves, and currents. My kids stay a little more scared of like the actual ocean. So I was like, let me take them to the sprinkler so they'll just still get cool off. This comes after two teenage sisters drowned after swimming at Coney Island Beach Friday night, according to authorities. NYC beaches have lifeguards on duty until 6 o'clock daily. Swimming is prohibited after hours, though enforcement is challenging. It's hot at night, too. Like, people are going to be getting in there regardless. Um, it, it would be nice if that was subsidized. I don't know if, like, if you're an after-hours lifeguard, if that would be, like, a more lucrative thing. Because, uh, yeah, people are going to be going in the water at night anyway. And city officials are urging residents and visitors to stay safe. They want to make sure that you're hydrated. They want to make sure that you stay in some type of air conditioned unit. And again, we have that information about those cooling centers on our website at pix11.com. And if not, you can always call 311. Reporting in Coney Island, Corey McGinnis, Pix11 News.